Okay, man to God. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, how many is ready for the Word tonight? Amen? Yeah. Go with me in your Bibles, praise God, to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I'm just blessed tonight. I'm so glad Dad's here. He had to get up and go walk. His back was stiffening up on him. But I'm glad he made the trip tonight. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God's done a good thing for him. Praise yeah. God that blesses me for his age and everything, where he broke his back. Amen. It's a blessing. He's even walking today. Yeah. Praise God. I'm glad to have Brother Chris. Glad that everybody's here tonight. Amen. I tell you, it's just good to see everybody. Good to see each other, knowing that you know we're family in the Lord Jesus. Amen to God. Come on. Good to see each other here, but hallelujah to God. When it's time to go, amen to God. We're going to be together always, throughout right? all eternity, with the King of Kings Amen. and the Lord of Lords. You know, eternity is a long time. So Come you on. better start liking them here, praise God, because you're going to spend a lot of time with them when you get there. Yeah. Come on, Amen. don't shout me down. Amen. But I'll tell you, it's good, though. We should we should have this love and respect and ad, you know just admiration for one another, encourage one Come another, on. lift one another up. The day in which we live in today is just... I tell you, it's Bible being fulfilled. Amen. I was reading over Matthew 24, and that one scripture popped out. It said, I think it said, these are the beginning of sorrows. Yeah. I tell you, we really haven't even seen it hit yet. Come on. We're in the beginning part. And you know, we talk about this all the time, this map right here. All these countries that are persecuted. And then we look at the United States of America. And the only thing connected to that is one little place down there Come on. in Mexico with the very bottom part. Yeah. And then we have to complain about things, praise God. When these people over here, they're getting their eyes cut out, poked out, getting their arms and hands chopped off, Come they're on. getting beheaded because yeah. they won't reject the name of Jesus. Amen Come to God. On. Now I'll tell you, when they have a bad time or a bad day over there, they praise the Lord. Amen. Come on. Because they know where their help comes from. When we have a bad day in the United States of America, this spoiled, rotten nation, how do they need a good rear end whipper from the Lord, amen to God? They need to go to that spiritual woodshed. When we have bad times, oh, it's the end of the world. Come And we don't praise God through them. We don't, you know, praise God. You, it's good if you if you find people to praise Him in the good times. You're doing good anymore. Amen. But a lot of times, one of the two things will happen. One, the people who never praised him and thank him, they'll run to him when something bad's wrong. Come on. Thinking he'll, he's a quick fix. Or, on the other hand, they just won't praise him at all. I tell you, I've learned this is, this is from a personal experience. Hallelujah to God. That you praise him. Hallelujah. In the valley. Just like you do on the mountaintop. Amen. And I think, and, I, and I'm going to go out and let him say this, I think, you praise and worship it better when you're in the valley more than you Come do on the mountaintop. Because the mountaintop, it's a life of ease. Yeah. Everything's okay. There's money in the bank. Now, the washer and dryer works fine. The car is running good. Everybody's healthy. Yeah. But the moment, the moment something out of the ordinary goes wrong, we panic and freak out. And the first person we need to run to, which is Jesus, amen to God, yeah. we don't. We run to every other thing Come other on. than Him. Oh, I can't get no help tonight. Amen. Yeah. See, yeah. if we reverse that, when somebody gives you bad news, instead of calling every Tom, Dick, and Harry, or Mary, Jane, and Martha all around, get on, amen, God, your knees and talk to Jesus. Amen. Come on. Amen. Because I guarantee you, He'll have more, amen to God, He'll be able to fix your problem than they will. Come on, amen. And I'm not, you know, I'm not being mean by saying that, but I tell you, we do that. We're all guilty of it, amen? Amen. First Thessalonians 5, beginning in verse 18, we're going to read one scripture there, and we're going to be all over the place tonight, so hallelujah. In everything, uh oh. Come on. What's it say? In everything. What's it say next? Give thanks. Uh-oh. Go over it. Come on. Now, he wasn't being specific here, now was he? No. Come on. He said, in everything. Amen. Everything. Yeah. The good times. Come on. Go over to God. The bad times. The Amen. bad times. The B-A-D times. The bad times. Where nothing's going your way. Where nothing's going right. 
Come in on. everything. Yeah. Give thanks. Give thanks. Somebody looks at your neighbor and say, Give thanks. Give thanks. With a grateful heart. With a grateful heart. Give thanks. Give thanks. To the Lord. To the Lord. In everything, give thanks. Come on. Now this will blow your mind here. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Yeah. Come on. How do I get God's will? Give thanks. Yeah. How do I stay in His will? Come Give on. thanks. Amen. Oh, that's not hard. Is it amen to no, God? That's good. Brother Mike, did you go to Mount Sinai and you have a visitation? Did you get two tablets to get that? No, I read the book. Amen Come to on. God. I read His Word and I took it, praise God, and I believed it, amen to God. By faith, we stand upon the promises of God. Come on. Amen. Because they're yea and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I tell you, when God gives you a promise, you can state and bank everything on it. On. Because it's yay, or in the modern day, yes and amen or okay. On, Somebody amen. shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want to use for a subject tonight, Lord willing, praise God. Thank Him in the bad times. Yeah. Well, Brother Mike, you should reverse that. No, I want to show you how we need to praise Him more. Worshiping more in when things are going wrong. That's oh. when God starts revealing Himself to you. That's when He starts molding you. Amen? Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. In everything, give thanks. My Lord, He shall not my die. Glory to God. Come Just on. lift your hands right now and thank Him. Amen oh, to God. Lord, thank you for your you salvation Lord. tonight. Amen? Thank hallelujah, you for, praise hallelujah, God, hallelujah, you're being here safely. Glory to God. Oh, Lord, we thank, thank you, Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy and love, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your word tonight. Lord, I just pray you would hide me behind the cross. Lord, I pray, dear God, that every person on the sound of my voice here at BOTL and out there in YouTube, Facebook, hallelujah, wherever it's going, Lord. Lord, we receive this word, dear God. Help us, Lord, to give thanks, to worship you, Lord. Hallelujah to God in all things, whether good or bad. Forgive us, Lord, in any way we've not done that, Lord. Wash us in that precious blood. Lord, teach us and help us to open our, our spiritual ears to Your Word tonight. In Jesus' precious name. And everybody said? Amen. Amen and amen. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God. <clears throat> How many has ever been asked by somebody, what is God's will for my life? Amen. Yeah. I'm sure all of us has. Come on. I was up at 2 o'clock this morning asking the Lord. I said, Lord, I had different thoughts on my mind. You know, when the Lord wakes you up early, there's a reason. Amen? Come Not on. to go to the refrigerator and get you a snack or go drink you some chocolate milk or something or eat. In my case, it would be banana, uh, apples with uh, peanut butter and raisins on them. Come on. I had to throw that in. Amen to God. But I got up this morning and I wasn't troubled, but I was needing to get before the Lord. Does that make sense? Come on. Praise God. I, I, I didn't commit some grave sin. I just needed some time with Him while it was quiet in the house. Hallelujah. While Hunter was sleeping, the Lord was sleeping. And I went in there and I just sat at the kitchen table and I was going through my Bible and just looking at different Scriptures. And I got to 1 Thessalonians. And Come on. chapter 5 jumped at me. Amen. And especially verse 18. And I sat there and just got to praying and then I just started weeping. Because in everything, the Lord was speaking to me, in everything, I'm still God. Come on. I've not changed. Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, yeah. and forever. Amen. Amen. I, like Brother Billy said earlier, He's not going to change. He'll be the same tomorrow, Lord willing. Come on. That we see tomorrow as He is right now in this moment as He was yesterday. I'm glad He won't change. Amen to God. Amen. Because the thing about it, if He started changing with the times, Lord have mercy, we'd all be up a creek. Come on. Especially if He got, hallelujah to God, if He started to conform into the ways of our politicians. Come on. Especially our presidents. Lord have mercy. If He started saying, well, I, I'm just going to say being a queer is okay. Come on. Oh, I said that, didn't I? Lord have mercy. That's the truth. Homosexuality is wrong in the sight of God. Amen. We don't hate the people. We hate what they're doing. God loves the sinner, but He hates the sin. Yeah. He does not tolerate that sin. Sin is what separates us. Amen? Come on. 
If God changed, if God, hallelujah, just decided one day I'm going to just quit listening to their bickering and their complaining, they're acting like the children of Israel was, hallelujah, when I delivered them from Pharaoh's army, they're just, hallelujah, grateful for a moment and then two or three days later they're just so mad at me, hallelujah, God, I can't please them like church folks today. Praise God, if you don't preach a certain way or say a certain thing that they're supposed to hear, they get mad and run off. Yeah. Praise God, instead of staying, praise God, and receiving it, whether it cuts you deep or whether or not, whether it blesses your heart or not, you got to take the good with the bad. Amen? Amen. Because I tell you, there's been times that I've heard the word preached, and boy, it just cut me. Amen to God. Come on. Did it feel good? No. It did not feel good. If you've ever cut your finger on something, it hurts, don't it? Amen. Amen. But you've got to <laughs> take the good with the bad. Come you've got to take the correction, the reproof, amen to God, when God does that. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God. Amen? I want to give you some reasons, amen to God, why we should be thanking Him in bad times. Is that alright? Come on. And I believe this is a word of encouragement for the church today. Because we need it. We need it desperately, amen to God. Come on. We need it now more than ever, amen to God. 20 years ago, they, they were in bad times. The church, you know, really wasn't being persecuted that much 20 years ago. But now it is. Well, the, the people that are really serving Jesus are getting persecuted. Those who have the facade, the religious spirit, if you will, are not getting persecuted because they're going with the compromised gospel that it's okay to live any old way you want to and you can still get to heaven. Some of these preachers tell them, they say, well, if you ask Jesus in your life as your Lord and Savior 20 years ago, you can live like hell and you'll still make it to heaven. I've got news for you. My Bible says in Revelation that all that, all the former stuff is gone, amen to God. Out the horror, I mean the gossip, all that old garbage is gone. Sin will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. I'm sorry. It will not. The works of the flesh will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. I'm sorry. Amen. You've got to have the very nature of Jesus. Amen to God. And His nature, amen to God, is to love one another. Hallelujah. Come as on. He loved you. Amen to God. And still does love you. Amen. All glory. Is this helping anybody? Come on. Just remember in everything, give thanks. For it's the will of God. Amen. Amen. The first reason, praise God, why we need to be thanking Him in these bad times. He may be using the adversary, the adversary or the trouble you're going through to get your attention. Amen? Come on. How many knows, praise God, that whatever it takes, God will, will get your attention, whatever. How many has ever prayed that prayer for somebody? Whatever, take the limits off, God. Whatever you've got to do to bring them back. Do what you got to do. Amen? Amen. In Acts chapter 9, y'all remember the story of Saul. Amen? He was known as Saul before he had the encounter with Jesus. Come on. And then his name was changed to Paul. Amen? Yeah. See, he was arrogant. He knew the law. He knew about it. I mean, he was perfect in it. See, Saul of Tarsus thought actually he was doing God a favor by killing the Christians. Amen. I mean, he thought he was doing God a favor by executing these believers. Amen? Come on. But then he had his encounter. Oh, do you remember your encounter when you met Jesus? Oh, hallelujah. Go with me to Acts chapter 9. We're going to read from verse 3 to 6. Praise God. This is his encounter that he come across. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. And suddenly there shone, there shined round about him a light from heaven. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying, that, saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? Now, now I want to stop there for a second. Did you see how he referred back to Jesus? Yeah. Who art thou, Lord? Yeah. Respect, amen to God. When you get in the presence of God, you will respect Him, amen to God. You will reverence Him, amen to God. It won't be no hocus pocus garbage. It will be, yes, Lord. Praise you, Lord, amen. Come on. And the Lord said, I am Jesus. I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And he, trembling and astonished, said, Lord, what wilt thou have me do? 
And the Lord said unto him, Arise, and go in the city, and it shall be told what thou must do. Changed his life forever. That road, that meeting with Jesus right there. When you truly have an encounter with Jesus, it will change your life forever. I remember April 29, 1993. Hallelujah to God. When I invited Jesus into my heart. I'm glad He didn't stop knocking at the door of my heart. Praise God. Even all the times I turned Him away. I'm glad He continued to knock at the door and say, Mike, let me in your life. Amen. Come on. God. Amen. Let me be the Lord and God and Master of your life. Praise God. Amen. What about you? Do you remember that? How, how it changed you. I remember waking up the next day and I looked at things and everything, it was like somebody took a veil off my eyes. I've seen things clearly. I've seen things more just the things I wouldn't have thought would be beautiful were beautiful to me. The birds singing it sounded so beautiful, amen to God. Seeing the grass, seeing the fields, seeing the clouds and the trees, all just to stand in awe of the wonder of God, looking at these things that the very Creator Himself made. Come on. That amen. was beautiful to me. Hallelujah to God. Getting in the Word. Oh, I remember when I got in the Word the next day. Oh, it was like I'd won the lottery. Amen to God. I was so excited that I could get in His Word and just Amen. read and read and read and grow and let my faith increase. Amen to God. Because the Bible says faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to God. And that changed my life forever. You say, Brother Mike, how long have you been a believer? Nearly 20 years. April 29, 2013 will be 20 years I've been serving Jesus. Come on. Have I had bumps along the way? You know it. Come on. Have you had bumps along the way? Roadblocks, hindrances? Yes, amen. Because if you have it, something's wrong. Come on. He never promised us a rose garden, amen. He said there would be persecutions, there would be trials, there would be tribulations, amen, to God, for His name's sake. If you're going to follow Jesus and take up your cross daily, you're going to get persecuted. Because if they did it to Jesus, don't you think they're going to do it to us? So Paul got changed here. Hallelujah to God. He had to finally realize that God has to be the number one priority in our lives. Amen? Come on, amen. And he did. Is he number one to you today? Amen? <coughs> yeah. Because if he's not, praise God, he may have to put you back down so you can look up. How many knows, praise God, when you're at the bottom, all you've got left to do is look up. Amen? When you're at the bottom of the ladder, where can you go but up? Amen to God? Amen. That's why it's so good, praise God, when he does put us down because it makes us reach out to him and say, Lord, hallelujah, help me. Help me through this, Lord God. Now, I can't do it on my own. Help me, Lord God. In Come everything, on. give thanks. For this is the will of God concerning you in Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. You want another example? Go to Daniel chapter 4. Verse 31 through 34. It says here, While the word was in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven saying, O king Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken, the kingdom is departed from thee. And they shall drive thee from men, and thy dwelling shall be with the beast of the field. They shall make thee to eat grass as oxen, and seven times shall pass over thee until thou know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will. Hallelujah. The same hour was the thing fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar. And he was driven from men and did eat grass as oxen. And his body was wet with the dew of heaven till his hairs were grown like eagles' feathers and his nails like birds' claws. My goodness, he must have been there a while. Amen. Amen. And at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up my eyes unto heaven. Listen to this. This is powerful. And my understanding returned unto me. And I blessed the Most High. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I praised and honored Him that liveth forever, whose dominion is an everlasting dominion, and His kingdom is from generation to generation. Nebuchadnezzar, praise God, got put down like Paul did. And he realized... The Most High, praise God, God Almighty, hallelujah, yeah. was the God. Amen. Not His little statue, amen to God, but amen. God was God, amen. Come on. Hallelujah. But a lot of the times, though, we think we're going through stuff. We think it's from God. We think we're going through this because of something we did. 
Now, well, granted, we do have consequences for our actions. Don't get me wrong. If you sin and do stuff, you have consequences for it. Amen? Amen. But it don't mean Jesus won't forgive you. I'm a classic example of that. Is, was there consequences for what happened to me? Yes, it was. Did Jesus forgive me? Yes, He did. Amen. Amen. And I'm here tonight to be able to preach the Gospel when they didn't give me a plug nickel for my life. Come on. Well, Brother Mike, you've told this over and over. And i got to keep telling it. Because my Redeemer is the one who did it for me. Amen, on, God. Amen. Gave me a second chance in life to preach the Word of God. Amen? Yeah. To make the devil miserable. I tell you, I've seen God move more in the last five years than I have all the other times preaching for Him. Amen? And I'm glad for it. Somebody said, would you go back and redo it again? No. Because I'll tell you why. I would not have gotten as close to Jesus as I am now if I had to go back all over again. I may be further out. I may have quit serving Jesus. But He's good and He's merciful. And He's an on-time God. Amen. Because He was on time that July 20. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. That morning He was on time when I called out Him. He said, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. And I called and He answered and He saved me, praise God, from me going under, praise God. Glory to God. I know y'all tired of hearing that. But I'll tell you, it, it's just... It, it, it's never old for me because it just shows me how good He is that in everything, give thanks, amen, to God. I'm constantly going through that every day. In everything, my Kessler, give thanks unto God for His good and righteous. It may not be going the way I want it to go, but in everything, give thanks unto amen. God. Woo! Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God uses suffering, praise God, to accomplish His will in our life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It doesn't always have to be bad. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says in Psalm 121, verses 1 and 2, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Yeah. My help cometh from who? The Lord. The Lord, which made heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Come on. Glory to God. Even in the rough times. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, you don't know how you're going to pay your bills. Thank you, Jesus. Amen? Come on. See, that's where we're at. Me, me and my wife. Me, Lori, and Hunter. Things have been tough the last couple of months. And I've cried a many a night. Hallelujah. I've gotten up and just got before Jesus, Brother Billy. And I said, Lord, I don't know how this end's going to meet that end. Yeah. And how that end's going to meet this end. I don't know how we're going to do this. I don't know how it's going to work out. And He spoke to me. He spoke to me that verse, amen to God. And y'all have heard me tell this before. My mother-in-law sent me a text message that morning. Psalm 46.10, Be still and know that I am God. Amen? amen. And He very frequently tells me that. Mike Helsley, be still and know that I am God. Be amen. still. Quit worrying. Quit letting the ship rock back and forth. Just be still and receive my peace and know that I will work it out. That I will not leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah to God. I will not let your needs go unmet. I will make sure your bills are paid. I will make sure you have food to eat. I will make sure you have clothes to wear. The roof over your head. Amen to God. I will make sure that you have all these things because I know you have needs of them. But you just got to be obedient and faithful to what I asked you and called you to do. Hallelujah. And that's where we know that when we're faithful and obedient to the Word of God and do what He tells us to do, staying in His will, God Himself will take care of us. He will oh, intervene hallelujah. when the devil's trying to take us out. Praise God. He will step in and say, Devil, He's my property. I bought Him with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen to God. And you cannot touch Him or harm Take him out. Amen. I may allow you to do something, but I'm not going to allow you to kill them. Come on. Because they're mine. <coughs> hallelujah to God. Amen. Go over. I don't, is this helping anybody? Amen. Praise Good God. Day. Hallelujah. Other than Sister Reese and Brother Billy. Come praise on. God. Is this helping anybody else? Praise God. Y'all looking at me like I'm crazy or something, amen? Come on. But I'm telling you, I'm living through it. Praise God. And y'all have too, I bet. Oh, praise God. Oh, and we're God. probably going to go through yeah, more. Yeah. But when you get down to the end of you, praise God, Come like on. they did at the Red Sea, I can't get off that. Thank you, Jesus. Amen to God. When they got to the edge of the Red Sea, they came at the end of their self and they had to trust in God. Because God was going to open it up and take them all through. Somebody say amen. Amen. 
that's when he says, stand still and see the salvation. Wait a minute. Stand still, fear not, and see the salvation Come of God. Yeah. Did you see how he threw that in? Be still and don't fear, praise God. Because he Ooh. said, Isaiah 41, 10. Hallelujah. He said, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be Come not on. dismayed, for I am your God. Hallelujah. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And I tell you, if God gives you a promise like that, you can bank on it and tell the devil, you are a liar, amen. Woo! Glory Hallelujah. God. Now that's pretty, that's good preaching right there. Amen. Glory God. Amen, Brother Michael Moore. Amen myself. Come on. Hallelujah. Stand still. Fear ye not and see the salvation of God. He shall out on my time. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. That just touches my heart. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just slip your hands up right now. Thank you right now. Thank you, Hallelujah, that He Hallelujah. told you. Hallelujah. Stand still, Hallelujah. fear ye not, and see Hallelujah. the salvation Hallelujah. of God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. He shall out on my time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory mm. to God. I tell you. There's times in our lives, amen. I'm going to run through the rest of these real quick. We're going to be down here just a minute. Hallelujah, I promise. But I tell you, coming from not only a child of God, but a minister, there's times I've got down, Brother Billy, and I'm sure you know what I'm feeling. I've got down and I'm like, Lord, is it worth it? Come on. I mean, praise God. You, I mean, you question God. And somebody said you shouldn't do that. He wants us to ask Him. He wants us to talk to Him. And he said, I've told him, Brother Billy, I said, Lord, it just ain't worth it sometimes. Lord, you go preach and you don't know if people's getting it. Come on. You just get discouraged. Hallelujah. And then the other day I get a phone call. This brother from New Jersey, and he don't mind me mentioning his name, Frank Petrock or Petrock, whatever his name. He called me. He left a message. And I went back and listened to him. He was eating dinner. And he said, Brother Mike, he said, if I, can I call you that? You know, I'm just a very nice guy. He said, I come across your, your ministry through radio, shortwave radio or something he was saying. He said, I just want to talk to you. I heard some of the songs on there. And I, you know, God is always an on-time God, Brother Billy, and you know this too. Yeah. Because earlier that day, I, I told Lori, I said, sometimes I even wonder if singing anymore is touching anybody, if my preaching anymore is touching anybody. I said, I don't know, I never hear from them. And it, it, it ain't all about that. You know, it's, it's, it's not about hearing from people, but it encourages you when you hear that something you said from the Lord is touching somebody. Amen? Amen. I mean, it, it encourages you. It gives you that... Oh, glory to God. I'm doing it. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. And I called him up. We talked for 58 minutes. Well, he talked about 50 and I talked 8. Can you believe that? Amen. Can you believe that? <laughs> this man had told me he's been through everything. He had money in the bank at one time. He said, brother, he said, he said, I, I had money. I had over $200,000 in the bank. He said, I went to the bank one day and it's all gone. <coughs> I didn't get I didn't ask him or get into it, one of my business. I figured if he wanted to tell me, he would, amen. Yeah. You get in trouble if you start asking people. He said, I gave my life to Jesus, I think he said about six months earlier. He said, I've been in this church and I've been the pastor's been teaching the word, and then he said, I started watching Jimmy Swaggart on television. Thank God for hallelujah, Jimmy Swaggart. Amen. Glory to God. That amen to God he didn't retire. I, I, I want to throw that in. Thank God he didn't retire and take his pension plan. Amen. That when he got called, he knew it was time to preach. Not until he wasn't going to quit until either he went by the way of the grave or amen to God when the second coming came. Come on. He said, I got to watching Jimmy Swagger on TV. And then somehow from Brother Swagger, he said he got to VOT on radio. Yeah. And he said, we never heard. That kind of music y'all Kentucky folks sing. Amen. <laughs> that thing tickled me. Yeah. He said, brother, he told me, I, I, I almost took offense to it. He said, brother, he said, I like your music. He said, but your accent don't go with those songs. And I thought, I thought, well, you got an accent for being up north. Amen. Amen. 
I said, that's when we talk right here in Kentucky. Go over to God from the South. But he said, I heard that one song. I want to know love like that. Yeah. And he said, it broke me down. He said, to think that Jesus, when He was on the cross, yeah. after they beat Him for you and for me, our sins is what He died on the cross for. Amen. He said, that part of the song where it said, Father, please forgive them. They know not what they do. He said, I ask the Lord to give me love like that. Amen. And that is the true love of Jesus when you can love and forgive somebody when they have done you wrong, when they have, if you will, put you on a cross, persecuted you, run you down. That's the love of God right there when you can say, I still love them and I'm going to go through with this because they mean so much to me. And I believe Jesus was thinking about that on the cross. On, I believe He's seen into where we're at today and see each and every one of us <clears throat> and said, I'm doing this for them. Hallelujah. I love them enough to oh, go on hallelujah. and be the spotless lamb on this altar. I believe He did that. And through it all, I love John 19.30. Yeah. I told Lori, I said, if I die, I put on my tombstone John 19.30. Because that's one of my favorite verses. One of my favorite things Jesus said. It is finished. Amen. And then it said He gave up the ghost. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. It is oh, finished. Hallelujah. Did you hear it, devil? It is finished. You lose. Come on. He didn't have to go to hell for three days. Come on. Come on now. They preached that He went to hell for three days. No, 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 no. The battle was done. Come at the on. cross when He spoke those words. Amen. There wouldn't be a resurrection if He hadn't died at the cross. Come on. Amen. <clears throat> Saying all that to say this, in everything, give thanks. Amen. Because Jesus did the same thing on the cross. Amen. He gave thanks. He loved you and me. Come on. He fulfilled the will of the Father. Hallelujah. Let me run through these couple things real quick and then we're done. The second thing, God may be using an adversary to draw you near to Him. Amen? How He knows that's true. Amen. God wants you to stay in communion with Him daily. Communion is more than a wafer and grape <coughs> juice. Amen? Communion is fellowship with God that Come we on. now have because of what Christ did at the cross. Amen. The veil of the temple was ripped from top to bottom. Yeah. Now we've got access to the Holy of Holies. Amen. Come on. To Amen. the very glory to God. Oh, to the very Lord throne Lord. of God because of that. Amen. He said in 1 Peter 5, chapter 5, verse 6 and 7, Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God that He may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon Him, for He careth for you. Amen? Amen. And don't you think if He cares for you, He'll make a way when there seems to be no way? Amen. Come on. God? Glory to God. The third thing, God may be using adversary to make you stronger, to build you up in Him. Amen to God. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. This is commonly used a lot, but it's the truth. There hath no temptation taken you, but such is common to man. But God is faithful. Amen. Come on. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you're able. But will with the same temptation make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Amen? Amen. God's good. I want to read this part to you. We're almost done, I promise. Talking about a butterfly like this. It said, if a butterfly is helped from its cocoon rather than emerging by itself, the wings won't develop and it won't have the strength to fly. How many of you have ever seen a, a cocoon? You yeah. ever seen a cocoon? Yeah. If you watch the Discovery Channel, you can watch the whole thing in slow motion where he's coming out of the cocoon. Amen. That's pretty pretty freaky, but amen to God. But when he comes out, he's this beautiful creation. All of the colors and he's flying around. I like butterflies. I'm not weird. I just I like to see them out in the field. I don't want no posters on my wall or anything or any butterfly trinkets. Hallelujah. I mean, the women may like that, but not saying it's wrong if you like butterflies. I'm just saying butterflies are a beautiful creation. Amen. The coloring in their wings and everything and how they're just made. And they just carefree fly around. 
You ever seen them just fly around carelessly? Yeah. Don't have a worry? Like the, like the sparrows and the robins and all the birds just don't have a care. Because I believe in their, in their own way they're giving thanks to God. Amen. Because they know that He's going to feed them. I believe the animals know that God takes care of them. Amen. Come on. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <clears throat> God may be using this adversary to refine you. Proverbs 25, 4. Take away the dross from the silver, and there shall come forth a vessel for the finer. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 1, 25. And I will turn my hand upon thee and purely purge away the dross. And take away all thy ten. Go over to God. God's fixing us, taking care of us. Amen. Amen. I tell you, we're closing right now. Amen to God. Through it all, hallelujah, we need to learn to trust in Jesus. Amen. Amen. I know it's hard. I know it's rough. But you'll find out, as I have personally, that if you love Him, if you praise and worship Him in those times that you don't know how you're going to make it, you'll find how, how easy it is to keep on going. And every time you have something come your way, all you'll do is say, thank you, Lord. You're faithful. Stand with me to your feet, please, if you will. If you don't mind. I pray this word tonight encouraged you. I pray it did. It blessed me all over again. I'm just smiling on the inside. But when the when the enemy comes to tell you to give up, when he comes to tell you quit serving Jesus, you just remind the devil in everything, Satan, I'm going to give thanks Amen. to the Lord. Because this is the perfect will. This yeah. is His will for my life. Amen. And you can take everything like Job. Job is a classic example. He lost everything. Come on. But he would not <clears throat> curse God. Amen. He would not turn on God. He had hypocritical friends to come again to say, Hey man, this whole God thing ain't working out for you. Might as well just give up. This whole yeah. ministry that, that the Lord's led you to do, well, nobody's doing anything, so you might as well just close it under. This old church you got started, you need to just shut the door. Come on. And Job said, No. Though he slay me, Hallelujah. yet will I still trust him. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for your word tonight. Thank you, Lord, for <coughs> loving us. Even when we are unlovable, Lord. When we are sometimes when you just want to wear us out, Lord, but you still love us. Father, I pray a hedge of protection around each person here tonight. Around those out there in the internet land, in the, in the world of that. I pray, Lord, for the believers, Lord, that we can be encouraged, Lord, that we can encourage one another, Lord, build one another up in the faith. Strengthen one another. Love one another, Lord God. Not hold on to grudges or anger or bitterness or strife. I pray you would be with us as we depart tonight, Lord. Lord, help us rest peacefully tonight, Lord. Help us take this word and run with it, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, amen.